Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a what I got for my birthday. So, as you may or may not know, it was my birthday not really recently anymore to be fair on the 8th of march and it's just coming towards like mid to end of march now i actually don't know what day it is at all but basically a couple of days after my birthday i moved house and that's kind of been you know what's been going on and i've just been so busy that I haven't gotten around to filming this video until this moment. I do remember most of it, I think, um, but if I have forgotten it, I'm so sorry. I am really, really grateful for everything I've been gifted. I have actually been spoiled the teeniest, tiniest bit. Teeniest, tiniest. I've been spoiled a lot, actually. But yeah, I guess we're just going to get right into it. So, so basically i don't really know where to start um but before we start i'm just gonna address the background this isn't gonna be my filming background i don't think it might change it might not i'm really undecided uh uh this has given so much away for my room already and i once my room's finally done i want to do like a whole room transformation and stuff room tour whatever type video for you guys that will come when it comes it will come when it comes don't worry just ignore this this isn't actually how everything's gonna stay so yeah but you're getting a very big sneak peek and i'm a bit fuming but this is like the cutest background i could get right now i guess we're just gonna get into it i'm gonna do this really randomly so it's in no particular order <sighs> It feels weird to be filming a, like a sit down video. I've not done this in quite a while now. All right, I'm gonna start off with Liv and Norb because I need to like move their present here and then move it back. So they got me one of those like boomph cards. So you basically, they get sent to your house and you like, it looks like a normal card and you open it up and it goes boomph in your face and like loads of confetti like flies out everywhere and it's supposed to scare you. And they wanted me to record it. They didn't message me in time because they thought it was gonna show up on the Wednesday after my birthday, but it showed up on the Tuesday. So they got me that, which was really lovely. Um, it didn't scare me. <laughs> I actually saw it coming. They like cause my reaction would have been very unsatisfying because um, it's basically one of those ones where you like just rip it off and it goes thump, like that. And I started ripping it, but as you rip it, you can kind of see into it. And I was kind of like holding it down as well, not on purpose. I did obviously I didn't know what it was. But I, it's just the way I was holding it, probably just like really weirdly. And I was peeling it and I kind of cottoned on to the fact that there was confetti in it and I knew it was going to fly out because as I started feeling it, the pressure started going on my finger. So then I was like, I know something's going to jump out on me, like this is going to fling up or something. So I peeled it and held it down. <laughs> I'm the worst person to give gifts to, like I just ruin everything. But yeah, I just held it down and I like slowly released it and it went pee. It still went everywhere to be fair. I do actually have a clip, I think that it's still saved. So I'll pop, pop it in here if I do. But yeah, it did go everywhere. It was very funny and brilliant timing because literally the day after that we were moving. So we were trying to pack and clean everything. And then there was confetti everywhere. Um, It did all go in the hoover. I kind of wish I was able to like keep it for a bit longer, but Obviously I couldn't, but it was really lovely. Thank you for getting that, or doing that for me, Liv and Norbert. And they also got me this. It's a massage ball. It's quite nice. You just roll it around and it's it's just good. It like rolls with it. Because I usually use a tennis ball, a tennis ball on the wall. And I just kind of like roll around on the wall, but you can kind of, you can actually push yourself against the wall and then roll it around yourself. And then it's sturdy, but it's just moving around inside it. Do you get what I mean? I know, well, obviously someone else can do that to you or you can do it to yourself. This is the, like, if you're hearing this and not watching me talk about something, this could sound really dodgy, but <sighs> yeah, that's that's what it is. And it's, it's really nice. Massages are brilliant because I work out, I get doms a lot and achy muscles a lot. So thank you for that, really appreciate it. They also got me this. This is what I have to go get. <laughs> Bear with, because I've literally had this for the longest time. Half of them are very dead. These ones are thriving. I don't know what I've done to them or how I've maintained them, but they're thriving. The rest are not. <laughs> to be fair, they're really not that bad. I think it's just because the sun is on these ones and not on these ones. So these ones are kind of like... 
And it's really annoying because roses are my fave as well and they're so dead. But look at the water, I really need to change it. Yeah, I don't know, the rest are kind of like really in their end days. Apart from these white ones, they're kind of, oh, they are a bit dry actually. Yeah, no. I don't know, but these ones, they're doing well. They're doing a very good job. But yeah, they did get these sent to my home, which was really lovely as well. So thank you. Honestly, I'll put in a photo as well because they looked so beautiful. I'm just really bad at maintaining things like this. To be to be fair, look at these yellow ones. I may as well be a florist. Okay, no. I'm gonna go put them back in the window because they kind of need the sunlight. Oh, Diddy's waking up. She's literally been asleep on my bed for, oh, take that back. She just slid straight back down. <laughs> She's just been like cuddled up on my bed over there for the longest time. She's loving it. Anyway, we're going to presents from my mother. So she has also spoiled me. So obviously, as you know, we've moved. Obviously, she got money from the house. Because we've moved house, she's given me a budget out of the money to have a nice bedroom and decorate my bedroom. So that is probably, she's not said it's part of my birthday presents, but I'm going to say it is because I'm, again, I'm very appreciative of it. And she didn't have to give me, you know, a decent amount of money to do up my bedroom with. So I'm very grateful she has because I'm so happy with the way it's turning out. I'm just so happy. I've never decorated my own bedroom ever in my life. My mom's just always done it for me. I think I've had a say once and it's because I had uh, like a mural painted on my wall in my last home, if you remember that. And I had Thor on it. Uh, that's probably why she didn't let me make any decisions because I chose to have Thor painted on my wall. But saying that, my mum's not the best interior designer either. However, Pinterest has been very good to me and has, you know, inspired me. And I feel like my room is just getting there. Like it's just getting there. I just need to buy a few more decorative bits and then have my tax rebate so I can get a new bed. And then it'll be happy days. I'll pretty much be done. And I can show you all. I'm so excited. Oh, and I need to get my Alex drawers. Cause I, I just have stuff everywhere. That was very long winded. Sorry. That is probably, like I said, she's not said this part of my birthday, but probably my favorite thing that I've, I've received, I guess. I'll be taking all of this with me when I move out. So, um, you know, it's, it's mine now and she didn't have to do that for me. So, cause obviously I already have furniture, but she did and I'm very grateful because I love it so much. Anyway, also <laughs> she got me, I'm gonna go worst to best present, I think. This isn't like the worst present at all. Cause I've really wanted these for the longest time. It's got toothpaste all over it and that's a massive hint. She got me an electric toothbrush and I didn't think this was a big deal until I literally just went on Boots to place an order and I saw the price of these. Why is this thing so expensive? It's amazing. It makes my teeth feel very clean. Not that I wasn't brushing them great before, like I definitely were. Um, but obviously this like just proper like it's, it's just good. Obviously I still go in with a little brush after and brush my tongue and everything. Brush your tongue kids. An amazing practical present that I really love. And it's pink, so I can't go wrong really, can you? Also, she has got me some PS4 games. So she got me the Avengers PS4 game. How sick is that? Uh, they botched it for a little bit though, kind of fuming about that, kind of fuming, just a little bit. I've not played it yet because, again, we've, we've been moving, I've not really had time. But I went to play it the other day and obviously you have to like download it onto your PS4 first. Um, eight hours, eight hours and I went to play this at like 10 o'clock at night and it was saying it was going to take eight hours to download onto the PS4. I've not played it yet, and that's probably why. And then, this isn't for me, she kind of bought it for us, to be fair, but she got me us a Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. As you may or may not know, if you know me personally, you might know this. I had a PS4, PS4? <laughs> Bullshit. I had a PS2 when I was little growing up and I loved it. I had so many games on it, but the games I loved the most were like the Tomb Raider games, Simpsons Hit and Run, SSX Tricky, uh, Home Alone, those sorts of games. Um, so yeah, she got me Tomb Raider and I'm very excited to play it because I love Lara Croft so much. I'm really gonna sound like live in this video because you know, I'm not as obsessed as she is, but I'm pretty like, like on, I'm nearing, I'm nearing. And yeah, so that that's that. I will get around to playing them eventually. I feel like once we're actually settled and like there isn't so much madness and when mum's not working from home because she obviously works in the living room so I can't be like playing my PS4 game. I'll be able to, you know, 
play it and I'm very excited so yeah next she got me this is my last present actually but she got me these actually no it's not my last present take that back she got me these I can't even lift them up how sick are they oh my gosh so if you may or may not know <laughs> stop if you know me you know I love like roller skating, ice skating, I'm just like so down with it. Probably because I'm good at it, I'm not good at a lot of things, but that I am good at and I can probably say I'm good at it. So yeah, she got me some of these and oh, I love them so much. We went out on them the other day. She bought herself a pair as well. She, she fell over twice, bless her little cotton socks. I was, I was having a whirl of a good time. It's not my last present because She's gonna get me something else. And I was like, mum, I really want ice skates. Um, so she's gonna get me exactly the same as these, but in ice skates. But when like the time's right, there's no point in getting them now when everything's shut. So in April, in April, in June, June? Yeah, in June, when everything opens back up, I'll be getting some skates so I can go skating. And I'm so excited, oh my gosh. Oh, I love them so much. Um, Very appreciative of that, I love you, mum. Thank you, very spoiled. Oh, and also we had like a takeaway and everything and my mum paid for that as well, so. Spoil. Next we're gonna go into what my boyfriend got me. He got me this. He did a bit of an oopsie, I must admit. So he also got me a PS4 game because he, I've got a PS4 because he's just given me a PS4 um, because he bought himself a PS5, so I've got his old PS4, basically. So yeah, he bought me The Last of Us. This is where I'm sounding like Liv again. Love The Last of Us. Um, definitely not to the scale she does. Wow, she's obsessed. She needs to chill. No, I'm kidding. But he bought me part two. I have played a bit of part one before, but I've not gone through the like full storyline because I've never owned it because I've never had a PS4. I have an Xbox, but is it on Xbox? I don't think it's on Xbox, but yeah. So he bought me part two, so that's why I've not played this either. <laughs> but I have bought myself part one and it will be arriving this week sometime this week i'll have it by the time you watch this video but yeah that's what he got me which again is very lovely of him and then that moves me on to his mum his mum actually gave me money which again she does not have to and she also also she also bought me a chocolate orange and she also bought me an easter bunny but that was for easter but i have already eaten it and i've already eaten the chocolate orange too I had help, okay? Not with the Easter Bunny, but I did have help with the chocolate orange. And she gave me money, bless her. She did not have to do that, very spoiled. But this leads me on to their family friend, Sheila. She actually transferred Otis a tenner to get some like sweets and bits for me. So Otis picked me up a box of milk trays, which again, I have eaten with help. Not a lot of help though, not a lot. <laughs> and some box of shells, like the, the chocolate shells. And I hate those. And literally two days before I said to him, he, he suggested getting them when we went to the shop and I said, I hate them. And then two days later, he buys them for my birthday. Stupid. As you can tell, he really listens to me, but that's fine. I actually gifted them to my nan <laughs> so she can enjoy them. Obviously I did tell them they were re-gifted. I didn't just I'd be like, oh man, I bought these for you. I did not do that. Oh, also, Liv and Nord got me like a little box of shells with the flowers. They came with a box of shells. Guys, thank you, but I hate them and I gave them to Otis. They're not nice, but Otis thoroughly enjoyed them. So thanks. <laughs> oh, and he also got me like some little sweet bits as well. But yeah, that's what I got from, from that lot. Again, thank you. I love you all so much. We might as well move on to Baz. I think he's like giving me money or something. Obviously we're moving, it's not a priority right now to give me money. <laughs> so I've not actually received it yet, which is absolutely fine. However, that's what Baz has got me. His mum, this is so cool by the way. She did not have to do this. I, I don't even think I've met her, met her, have I? I think I might have met her once actually. Oh I did, I have met her once. Yeah, she's lovely. So she got me like this murder mystery themed trial type thing and it's basically this is how i think it's going i've not actually like i i think it this is what happens so you buy it online and then you get sent this and it's basically like a little booklet and it has loads of like clues in and stuff and it's got like directions so i'm guessing it shows you where you have to start and then there's like directions and clues and like you walk everywhere and then you try to find out like who murdered who Bless you. And you try to figure out like who murdered who and like on the on the back there's like loads of victims, victims, suspects <laughs> and like murder weapon and stuff like that. And if you know me, you may or may not know if you know me, 
My favourite board game is Cluedo. I'm just great at it. Again, I love things that I'm good at. You may call me a sore loser, but I'm just um, a, pr pr a prideful winner. I like to win, alright? I like to win. I don't really like to lose often, but you know, I'm not that sore about it. I'm not that sore about it. I'm a, a, a tiny bit sore, like, it depends who I'm playing with. If I'm really close with you, I'm gonna be friggin' sore. I promise you I will be sore. But if I'm not close with you, I'll play it off. I'll play it off good, don't worry. Unless it was injustice. If it was injustice, that's a different story. If there was a bit of cheating involved, I'm gonna be fuming. Anyway, yeah, so if you know me, Cluedo is my favourite game, and that's the kind of vibes I'm getting from this. And it's based in Winchester. I don't know, this is just such a sick present idea, like, I didn't even know this was a thing. And basically I can take a few friends with me, I think I know who I'm gonna take. I think I might take Liv and Nor, but I might ask them, because I just feel like that would just be something really fun to do with them. However, undecided, so if I don't pick you, sorry. But that's who I'm thinking of going with. Oh, sick idea, sick present. Thank you. Moving on to my dad, because it's next. My dad isn't good at like sparing time to get something, bless him. My dad is a busy man, you know? You tell him you want something, he'll forget. To the saying that, he's very good at like picking up things and like noticing things. If I went to his and I like cleaned up a bit or like did a bit of organizing, like he'd cotton on straight away. I knew my birthday was coming up. He usually like spends around a hundred pounds on me. And I like sent him some items that I wanted, literally two things. I've got one of them here and one of them was on sale at the time. So like I could have the two for a hundred pounds or just under, I think it was. So I sent it to him and I was like, oh, this one's on sale, like hinting, get it. Um, I made him aware this was something I wanted and for him to get me for my birthday, like would really appreciate it. Thanks, kiss kiss. And then however long later it was, it was coming up to my birthday, like as in like a few days until my birthday. And I was like, oh, did you like end up getting me those things that I asked for? And he was like, what things? I was like, <laughs> I sent you the links. So when I went back, the thingy, first thingy I'm gonna show you, wasn't on sale anymore, meaning I couldn't get two items because it went over my budget. However, I did borrow 30 pounds from him so I could buy some leggings from this girl on Depop because it was near my payday. So I was like, I'll pay you back as soon as I get paid. But I didn't have enough at the time and she was gonna sell them to someone else. So I might as well show them first since I've mentioned them anyway. But they're these leggings. The Gymshark Ombre Seamless in Coral. I love them, these are my favourite leggings. Not sure if they're still my favourite leggings, but they were for the longest time. Those leggings, we've been through some things, you know. They're really nice though, if you can get your hands on them. Gymshark don't actually sell them anymore. Anyway, next present, this is what I was on about. I got the Molly May Beauty Works Curl Volume Kit 2. This is the second one. Honestly, I kind of regret not getting the Volume Kit 1, because this one's a bit thicker and I was like, my hair's so long. To be fair, I think the thicker one would be good for if you wear like extensions and stuff. Obviously I don't. My hair is quite thick, but not like extension thick. Do you know what I mean? So, curl it yesterday and I did get some nice curls to be fair. I'm still getting the hang of it. It's really difficult. People who do this really well, I'm jealous because I it's difficult. I'm slowly getting there, it's just practice in it. But the other present I was gonna get with the extra money I would have had left over was the gym edition workout like journal. Yeah, I was gonna get that with the extra money, but obviously dad said I don't have to pay him back for the leggings now. So that's what I got from my dad. Again, super duper grateful. He just ended up sending me the money and then I bought that. Next is my nanny. Oh, I think she gave me money and she also kind of got me this. So obviously I got her, got her, I gave her the, the shells. Mum tried to give this to Nan for Mother's Day and it's this Bayless and Harding set, but Nan just didn't want it. <laughs> like she just didn't want it. She was like, Molly, you have it. So we traded the shells for this Bayless and Harding set. So technically this is for my birthday now from Nan without her even meaning to. And uh, yeah, I would have preferred this Otis if you're watching. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Nan likes shells. I like Bayless and Harding. Win-win that. <laughs> what? I'm in the weirdest mood today. I'm so sorry. I think this is last but not least. This is my gift from Raylene. Honestly, thank you so much. I literally love it so much. She spoiled me. She got me an O-Poly set. What the heck? Until like 
recently I've never owned anything from Own Polly I've just been like admiring it from afar and she got me this set and it is honestly beautiful I've already tried it on so I will insert a little photo video thing here it's basically this top and skirt set she got it in a size small and to be fair it's a little bit tight it's a little bit tight just because i have a bum and i have legs they just happen to be a bit thicker mainly my legs they're massive once it's on it's on and it feels really good but even like the opoly bits i bought i bought them in a size small and i definitely wish i bought them in a medium i would have returned them if i wasn't moving to be fair but it was just inconvenient trying to sort that out as well so i was like Ugh, i'll keep it but yes i'm tired Anyway, that is what I got for my birthday. I think that is everything. If it's not, I'm so sorry. My friend Eloise has apparently got me a present. She did say she got me something, so I'll believe it when I see it, bitch. No, I'm joking. I'm actually fully waiting. I have been so spoiled so so spoiled and with the money that i got for my birthday i bought some things from shein and misguided um so a haul will be coming soon probably after next week's episode of my move-in vlogs so in about two weeks so stay tuned subscribe please would appreciate it um but yeah that is i think everything i got for my birthday and i'm super happy and very grateful so thank you everyone if you got me something thank you for everyone who said happy birthday hi i look awful but editing me here uh it just cut out i don't know why but it's it's cut out um so yeah didn't really end the video properly but like and subscribe thank you and peace